During my time in Portugal, I've hardly spent any of it in the kitchen. That's why I've come to a Porto, more specifically to the Bull and Bear restaurant, and it's found underneath the stock exchange. I'm going to meet one of Portugal's top chefs, and look, I've even bought my apron. Hi Miguel, thank you very much first of all for letting me into your kitchen. Feels good to be okay. back over the stove here. Now, you're going to be cooking a three course meal. Yes. To which, I'm going to try and help you uh, cook the main course here. So what have we got? Well, we'll as main course we'll make the codfish with the onion and pot wine. Yeah. Uh, in addition I put some red wine in for uh, the acidity. Acidity. Yes. Yeah. So, so the first thing is the onion first. Yes. You're going to chop that up. We, uh, put in this cut pan. it like this. Right. So sort of slices of quite, yes, uh, but quite not, hearty slices. Not like this no. slice, but like you see. Okay, so why are you cutting it like um, that? Because it will stay with the fiber, you know. Lovely. Okay, uh, can you put a little bit of oil in here? Yes, yeah, some olive oil, please. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe use it. Excellent. Tell me, when did you start this, uh, this restaurant? It's the Bull and Bear, isn't it? Yes. When did it start? This one uh, started about three years ago. Yeah. Um, did you start it off? Yes, we started from the beginning. Uh, had before I had another restaurant, I have been, have been invited by the stock exchange yeah. to come over here. And we're, the stock exchange literally above the restaurant, yes. isn't it? Yeah. So uh, my contribution to the stock exchange is with food, <laughs> some nice recipes. <laughs> and you're obviously feeding them well. So this will stay slowly. Okay, so we're going to cook that translucent, nice uh, and slow. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, just to get the... Yeah. Uh, the flavour. Yeah. Okay, the next item, you're going to do the cod. Mm -hmm. well, whilst you're doing that, you can tell me about how you got into cooking, because you, you never sort of started off wanting to be a chef, did you? You, you? you was a pianist, you was into music, you studied biology. See, I've done my homework, haven't you? have done my homework. <laughs> <laughs> so what yeah. took you into the kitchen? Well, uh, I always enjoyed very much uh, good food and good eating. Yeah. I travelled a lot uh, over the world, uh, ate in nice places. So one day I... I had this horrible idea to get a profi chef, not just a home chef. Right. Horrible idea because it's quite a bad life, you know. You work and work, right. <laughs> you have no time for nothing, but almost no time for eat. <laughs> sounds like you complain you enjoy it though, don't you? Yes, I, yeah. like, I like very much to cook, I have to say. Uh, even on Sundays at home, I, I like you to cook. You still end up doing the cooking? And I like to experiment uh, with... And that's another thing, you've, you've got some very fascinating dishes, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But what you do here, you're frying the cut-off. Yes, just then, we're giving you a little bit of colour. Yeah. With the flour, and then... Uh, that's we'll, going to go into there? Yes. First we have to put some wine in. Let's do that then, very quickly. Some red wine, yep. give some acidity. And now you have reduce to that, reduce yeah. it. Right. Quite well, a whilst bit. that's reducing, you're going to put the fish in there after. I'm going to go and get washed up. I'm going to sit at the table, ready mm -hmm. to try that beautiful meal you've got me. Okay. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Chin chin. Chin chin. Start with that. First you of enjoy all. it. Thank Good. you. Miguel, tell me what have we got in front of us here? So here we have a quail with a pot wine vinaigrette. Basically, you make a, a pot wine re reduction. I use ruby pot in ruby this case. Pot. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, whip it with uh, some balsamic vinegar. And so it's uh, going to be relatively sweet then, with the balsamic vinegar reduction of a relatively sweet wine, such as port. Uh, I like also put some sugar, give it uh, some sweetness, yeah. and then take the sweetness away so with, uh, with, uh, with, with the, the vinegar. Kick. Yes, right. Yeah. So it's a very straightforward, simple dish. Yes, just about the beauty of flavour. May I have a taste of this, please? Please enjoy. Thank you. Right. Nipple there. Mm. It is. It's a. It's a nice, tasty quail. That is. Yeah, you know, a lot of the times you, you get them, there's nothing there. You can take <laughs> the, the olive oil is coming through, which you've, you've mm. obviously cooked it in some olive oil. Yeah, some little bit of salt pepper and yeah. quickly uh, give it some colour and oh. olive oil. Don't overdo it, it will get dry. Right, excellent. Okay, well, we're just going to keep this aside for a moment and uh, you can explain a little bit about this next dish. What have we got here? It's the cod, isn't it? The famous Portuguese cod. <laughs> right. A lot of people would probably look at a piece of fish and automatically associated with uh, a marriage of white wine, fresher, 
sweeter, crisper, as opposed to here we've got a dark colour, we've got a white fish, we've got port wine, mm. and you've got red wine in there. In general, most of preparations of cod fish like uh, to have uh, accept a red wine. Right? And you know something that does work. The sweetness from sweating off the onions, that caramelisation mm -hmm. there, and the sweetness from the from the port, you've balanced that out with mm -hmm. the acidity from the from the red wine, and that seriously does work. Let me keep this Thank aside. Does work. Uh, let's have a look over here because we've got a very pleasant, sticky-looking um, pud. So talk me through it while we do that. Basically, um, it, it's an uh, egg pudding. So how many egg yolks do we have in, in this pudding? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. Yes, quite oh. a lot. Cholesterol um, busting. <laughs> then we have uh, the caramel. Yeah. Uh, we make a, a light caramel, put it in the mold. Then you pour the, this mixture of uh, the egg yolks, a little bit of tawny pot in this case. The ruby would be... So we've got port in there as well? Yes, okay. uh, tawny pot. And you mentioned something about bacon. Uh, yes, when you prepare the sugar, yeah. you put also some bacon in. It sounds funny, it but it's very... Smoked it, bacon? I like to use smoked bacon. Yeah? Proving the pudding is in the eating. I think I like it very much. Obviously, it's very sweet. You shouldn't eat too much from it. No. But um, some things you have to eat, smaller quantities, but it's more concentrated. I'm going to carry on tucking into that. Thank you very much for this uh, gastronomic journey into the past and present, mm -hmm. and good luck to you in your restaurant. Thank you Cheers. very much. Bye-bye.